Body language is another channel by which human beings work out the mental state of somebody they're dealing with. And we want to know whether it's possible for the computer to pick up body language in the same way that we were able to do it with the face. Now the current state of the art is that you cannot reliably track body language just from a video of a person. So we've invested in a motion tracking system which allows us to do this by attaching little markers to a human being and tracking those. Our hope is that in five years time doing the motion tracking from video will be feasible. We'll be able to use that motion tracking and feed it into the results we've got. This, this matters generally because at the moment computers ignore their users and people who do that are regarded as rude. Using a keyboard and mouse is a way of interacting with computers that's been around now for 30 years and we need to move on uh, and try and bring the level of communication between people and computers up to the same level as between people and people. Uh, and that's not just people using workstations. Increasingly nowadays computers are embedded in the environment around us and they're driven by sensors. And this is just another channel of sense that the computers can have to help understand what they need to be doing at any time. The team mainly consists of computer scientists because that's where we're bringing new insights to bear, but we need to understand the underlying disciplines in psychology and in computer vision. And we're very lucky in Cambridge we have the psychology department which has experts in emotion that we can go and chat to. We have to do mathematics because a lot of this is based on probability theory and we need to understand that. But really it's, it's systems engineering. We're building large systems uh, and we need people who can understand how to make large systems out of, out of software with a little bit of hardware on the side.